that I am so scared for these women, so scared for them because they don't have anybody to keep them safe. And it kills me to know that that could have been me. Tony Bolton couldn't hold back her tears as she described what she experienced as an inmate at the Edna Mahan Correctional Facility for Women. Something needs to be done. You're talking about human lives. You're not talking about a bug. You're talking about human life that is scared from the point that she wakes up till she goes to sleep. She's going to make it home to her kids, to her parents, to her brothers, to her sisters. The 38-year-old ex-inmate spent six years at the facility where she says she witnessed sexual and physical abuse by correction officers. I, I watched him literally grab her from the top bunk and body slam her onto the ground when they commenced in beating this, beating this girl up, kicking her, punching her. I have a girl right now whom I, I you know, I speak with constantly and um, she was sexually assaulted multiple times and her and I spoke upon it and you know, just how I just explained to you the same thing. You do what you have to do until you get out of it, you know, because at the end of the day, they do have the power to take mm -hmm. our lives. Bolton is not alone in her allegations. According to a scathing 31 page report by the federal department of justice and U S attorney's office in April, 2020, the facility suffers from a culture of acceptance of sexual abuse and failed to keep inmates safe. But we need to make sure that it stops and it stops immediately. I don't want to hear about a six month study or anything like that. Right now, Marcus Hicks should be removed. Senator Loretta Weinberg says the facility is out of control and an abusive danger to women locked up behind its walls, which is why she sent this letter to the governor demanding that Corrections Commissioner Marcus Hicks and the current warden be placed on leave immediately. This administration needs to be responsible for running the government too. And we can't let the vulnerability of these women locked up go by the wayside. The letters that we began receiving, the telephone calls from moms uh, were uh, horrific. Bonnie Kerness is the director for the nonprofit American Friends Service Committee's prison program. Kerness says you can almost hear the fear in women's voices as you read the letters like this one that says, please send help, just show up without warning so they can be caught off guard on how they are really seriously beating these women to death. And people are deathly afraid of having their names mentioned, but not so afraid that they aren't trying to get word out. Where's the transparency? Where's the power? Who is monitoring? President of the New Jersey Policemen's Benevolent Association, Local 105, William Sullivan, released a statement saying, I support a full investigation due to the criminal nature of these allegations. I have no further information at this time and do not have knowledge of the allegations made against the staff. We also reached out to the Attorney General and the Department of Corrections, but have yet to hear back. Senator Weinberg and Kerness are now demanding that the governor take control of this situation. Bolton says she remains committed to raising awareness and hope for women in the facility. As long as there's breath in my body, I'm going to keep fighting for these women. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.